Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to Virtual Storytime at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to Storytime. Today we are talking all about our summer reading theme, which is tales and tales. And that means tales as in stories and tales as in animals with tales. So we're talking about animal stories. I want to tell you a little bit about our summer reading program before we get started. There's still time to participate in this year's summer reading. And I have the form right here that you can fill out. You just check off boxes as you go on every day that you read. You can pick one of these up at any of our library branches. After four days, only four days of reading, you get a free book of your choice. We've got lots of different books to choose from. This is just one of them. And after 20 days of reading, you get a second free book along with some awesome coupons to some free items around town. You can see Doozy's ice cream is at the top here. We've got Taco Bell and some pizza coupons. So you get lots of free goodies for participating in our summer reading program. The program doesn't end until the last day in July. So there's still plenty of time to participate. Even if you haven't picked up a form yet, you can pick one up at any of our branches or you can actually participate online. I'll put a link below in this video on how to do that and then you can participate and get some awesome books and prizes. And with that in mind, I wanna talk about our first Tale and Tales book. It's right over here and it's the perfect book for our Tales and Tales theme. Here we have our book. This is Tales Chasing Tales by Matthew Porter. The and elephant is chasing a black and orange striped tail. Hmm, friends, what kind of tail is this? It's black and orange, I see the stripes. What kind of animal's tail looks like that? Hmm, let's turn the page and find out. A tiger! The tiger is chasing a short brown tail. Who has a short brown tail like this? Also looks like they're Pretty big animal. They've got some claws. Hmm. What animal? It's a bear. The bear is chasing a curly pink tail. Hmm. Can you guess what animal has a curly pink tail like in this picture? I wonder. It's a pig. The pig is chasing a big, bushy tail. Hmm, who has a big, bushy tail like this? Can you guess, friends? It's a fox. The fox is chasing a black and white feathered tail. Hmm, whose tail is this? It's a duck. Quack, quack. The duck is chasing a brown spotted tail. Friends, if you would like to find out who is the owner of that brown spotted tail and what other animals and tails happen in this book, Tales Chasing Tales, you can check it out from the library. Since today we are talking about tails, like the tails on the back of an animal. I'd like to talk about some of our other body parts that we have with one of my favorite songs, you may know it, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Can you touch your head, your shoulders, your knees, and all the way down to your toes? Good job, friends. Let's put that all together as we sing the song. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes knees and toes, head, 
shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I bet we can do that even faster. Do you think you can touch all of those parts of your body even faster? Let's speed the song up, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I bet we can go even faster this time. Let's sing it as fast as we can and see if we can still fit all of those motions in there, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, friends. Did you make it all of the way through the fastest version? I bet you did. Whew. A little bit of breath after all of that. Thanks for your help, friends. It's time to write. Let's practice our pre-writing skills by tracing the letters in this word. Starts always with the capital, a capital T. Next is an A, an I, and an L. T, A, I, L. To ale, tail. Friends, I have another story to share with you today. This is Dear Zoo. It's by Rod Campbell, and it's one of my favorite animal tales to share with you. So let's check out this story and see what happens to the animals in this book. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an. Hmm. I wonder what's in this package. An elephant. Oh my goodness. He was too big, so I sent him back. So they sent me a giraffe. Whoa, look at the long neck on this giraffe. He was too tall, so I sent him. So they sent me a lion. Oh my goodness, this lion is so ferocious. I don't know if I can handle a lion. Could you have a lion as a pet? Not me. Do you think I'm the Tiger King? He was too fierce. So I sent him back. So they sent me a camel. He was too grumpy. So I sent him back. Will we ever find the perfect pet? It looks like a lot of zoo animals do not make very good pets for your house. They can be tall and big and ferocious. I wonder what the perfect pet at the end of this book will be. You can find out by checking this book out from our library. And as always, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can find that information. Friends, for this next song, you're gonna need five fingers. I happen to have this puppet with five monkeys on it, but you can do the same thing just with the five fingers on your hand as you follow along with this tale about silly monkeys who, of course, have tails. There's also an alligator in the story. Do alligators have tails? Yes, they do. I think these monkeys better watch out for that alligator. Here it goes. Show me your five fingers. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey out of that tree. Oh my goodness, how many monkeys are left? Let's count them. We had five. One, two, three, four monkeys are left. 
Do you see those four monkeys? Let's try again. Show me four fingers. You can put your thumb away. Four little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey out of that tree. Oh no, how many monkeys are left now? One monkey, two monkeys, three monkeys are left. Hmm, let's try again. You can show me three fingers. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey out of that tree. Oh no, how many monkeys are left now? Just two. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left now? Just one. You can show me one finger. Let's do this again with one little monkey. One little monkey swinging in the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps that last monkey right out of that tree. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our story time for today. It's time to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next time.